Recently, a viewer asked the question about double values in C. How would one round 92.25 to 92.3? In other words, how can we round a double value to a particular number of decimal places? Let's write a C program to do this. Let's create a double variable called number, and we'll initialize it to 36.6. 677777. Now one way we can effectively round this number is by using the precision field of the placeholder that's used to output this number when using printf or a similar function. So for example, we could have printf number colon percent and we'll have dot one f backslash n for a new line and then the number. So this percent dot one f here is a placeholder and the f means that we're going to output a double value and the dot one means we're going to output the value with one decimal digit of precision and if we save compile and run the program we'll get 36.7 here which is our number rounded to one decimal place so this technique might be sufficient for our purposes and we can use other values than one so for example we could copy this paste it here, and we'll have dot two here now. And if we save, compile, and run this, we get 36.66, which is our number rounded to two decimal places. So this technique is going to work for any amount of decimal places. Now, one thing with this technique is that it's not gonna actually change the number that's stored in the variable. So if we just output the number here with no precision field, in the placeholder. And then if we save, compile, and run the program, we're going to see that the actual number that's stored in memory hasn't changed. So what if we want to actually round the number that's stored in memory? The C standard library does include functions that allow us to round a double value to the nearest integer. So for example, if we include math.h, we could use the round function to round this number to 37. So for example, we'll have double rounded number is equal to round number. So the round function is going to accept the number as an argument. It's going to return the number rounded to the nearest integer. So we could output that number here. We'll output rounded underscore number percent f backslash n and then we'll output rounded number. And if we save, compile, and run the program, we get that the rounded number is 37. So the round function and the functions like it are helpful if we need to round the number to the nearest integer in some way. But if we want to round the number to some amount of decimal places, we need another technique. So we can actually use the round function to help us. So let's say that we want to round this number here to two decimal places. What we could do is first multiply it by 100. That would give us the number 3665.777777. Then if we applied the round function to this number, we would get back the number 3666. Then if we divided this number by 100, we would get back 36.66, which is this number here rounded to two decimal places. So this is the process we could follow. And we could generalize this process to make it work for any amount of decimal places too. So for example, let's say that we want to round the number to one decimal place. Instead of 100, we could multiply this number by 10. And then here we would have 366 point five seven 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 and when the round function rounds this number to the nearest integer we would get three hundred and sixty seven when this number is divided by ten we would get thirty six point seven so we can generalize this process we need to adjust this number here though that we're using to adjust the number by shifting the decimal place over what we'll want to do is multiply the number by 10 to the power of the number of decimal places. 
that we want to round the number down to, and we would use the same number here as well. So this will be our process. We could actually create a function to carry out this process. So we'll call the function double round, and the function will return a double. And the function will accept two parameters, the value itself that we want to round, and the number of decimal places that we want to round the number down to. So we can provide a definition of the function down here. And what we'll do is implement this process. We'll declare a variable rounded that's going to store the rounded number. Then we'll declare a variable called shift that's going to store the number that's used to help shift the decimal place of the number. And we'll have 10 to the power of the number of decimal places that we want to round the number down to. Next, we'll have rounded is equal to the value multiplied by the shift number. And then we'll round the number using the round function. And then finally, we'll divide this number by the shift number. And this will give us the number that we can return here. So here we followed the exact same process we outlined above. This pow function here comes with the math library. It's going to take 10 and raise it to the power of this many decimal places. So this function should work. So let's test it out now. Up here, we'll declare a variable one decimal round, and we'll set it equal to the result of calling the function double round with our number and one as arguments to get the number rounded to one decimal place. And then we'll output the result here. So we'll have printf one decimal round percent f backslash n, and we'll output one decimal round here. We'll do the same thing to test it out with two decimal places. So we'll copy this here, and then we'll paste it here. And this time we'll have two decimal round. We'll pass in two here, and we'll output two decimal round here. And we'll just throw in an extra new line here to separate things. So if we save, compile, and run our program, we get the number rounded to one decimal place with 36.7, and we get the number rounded to two decimal places with 36.66. So our function is working. So this is how we can round a double value to a certain number of decimal places using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.